everyone it's 4 30 a.m in the morning and today we are having a six days of road trip to mustang and hope we have a very good journey on 7 october 2021 we went for a road trip to upper mustang and in day one our goal was to reach tatopani from Kathmandu. We were a total of 8 people including our driver guide. This day, we had our breakfast and lunch on the way and we continued our journey. We reached Bukhara at 1 pm and we were still supposed to have a ride for next 6 hours. On the way, we saw a lot of sheep and these sheep were taken to one place to sell them on the special occasion of Dase, one of our biggest festivals in Nepal. The road condition from the place Beni was not good at all. It was all damaged due to landslide and the construction of road is still going on. And there were jam due to bad road condition and due to construction work. It was almost night when we were about to reach Tatopani and finally we reached Tatopani at 6.30 pm. We were all very hungry when we reached Tatopani. We had our dinner and we all went for sleep afterwards. In day 2, we went to Tatopani on early morning without having breakfast. Tatopani is also known as Heart Spring in English. There is a religious belief that if we dive in Tatopani, then the hot water will cure all your skin diseases. And when we get out from Tatopani, all our skin was red. After diving in Tatopani, our next destination was to reach Kakbeni. On the way, we passed through Rupse Fall, which was such a big and nice waterfall, and we spent some time over there. Talking about road condition, then I must say, it was worse. There was a police checkpoint where they checked our vaccination card and grant permission to move forward. We all stopped at Lete for our lunch. Lete is such a beautiful place and we can see beautiful view all around from Lete. Since it was raining, we couldn't see any view from there. And gladly, the road condition from Lete was good. On the way, we thought of exploring Marfa Village. Marfa is famous for its apple, so you can see apple from all over Marfa. In Marfa and Jamsam, wind start blowing after 12 o'clock, so it's better to explore everything before 12 o'clock if possible. This is Jerry Kali and this name was placed after the release of Jerry movie.
After exploring Marfa village, we decided to visit Dumba Lake and the wind was blowing faster and we all were enjoying that. This was the place where we were able to see the view of Marfa Village, Jomsom Flight and Jomsom Village. And after some time, we reached our goal destination, Kagbeni. We decided to stay and sleep in upstairs instead of room to have some new experience and we all were enjoying a lot. This day too, we all were tired so we had dinner and we went for sleep after that. Early morning, we spent some time watching the view of Kakbeni village from our hotel. We visited Buddhist monastery in Kakbeni. The monastery was itself very beautiful along with Buddha statue. After visiting Buddhist monastery, we explore Kagbeni village. This village was similar to Marpa village. After exploring Kagbeni village, our next destination was to reach beautiful Sarang village. And we all stopped at Selfie Dara and enjoyed taking selfie. And how can we forget Muktinath, one of the sacred places to both Hindus and Buddhists. It is also known as Bisnu Temple. In Muktina, there is total of 108 water taps and we should take sour from there. It is believed that taking sour from all 108 taps keeps us healthy and prosperous. So we also took sour in freezing cold water. This pond is known as Pap Gunda, where we should throw the coin to left out all the sin we have done in this lifetime. And this pond is Punya Kunda, where we should throw the coin, dive in it and take any coin from it to bring salvation with us. After taking sour, we did some puja inside the temple. When returning back, we visited Sakyamuni Buddha stone statue in Muktina temple. The Buddha statue was 32 feet tall carved from this special stone of Farping, Nepal. Again after returning back from Buddha temple, we had our lunch as we were very hungry. On the way, we explored Charkot village and it was beautiful.
While we were heading towards Sarang village, we took some pictures and videos on the way. And this was the time when our jeep was overheat and wasn't taking pickup. So we walked for some time while our jeep was at rest. After some time, we put petrol and head forward. When we move ahead from Muktinath, we all felt like we are in different country. We all have been growing up by seeing greenery everywhere we go. But here, everything looks like a desert. And finally, we reached Sarang guest house after seeing beautiful and different scenery on the way. At night, we had dinner and we all went for sleep.